As the story goes, Cain killed his younger brother, Abel. Cain had the opportunity to offer up, you know, the best of his crops, just as Abel did, but Cain chose to not offer up his best. He chose to skim and just kind of make the decision or the choice to give the leftovers, the not so great parts of his crop, whereas Abel chose to offer the finest of his herd. Cain even expressed verbal opposition to Abel's choice, but Abel still went ahead and did what he wanted to do. Now, when Cain's offering was rejected and Abel's offering was accepted based on their deity standards, Cain became infurious with envy and jealousy towards Abel, so much so that he plotted to hurt and kill Abel, which he eventually carried out. He murdered his younger brother Abel out of pure envy and jealousy. Other accounts of the story allege that Cain also was jealous that Abel had a much more finer and beautiful wife, which in Cain's eyes indicated that Abel was favored by their God. So Abel's offerings were accepted by their God. Abel also perception was fairer, beautiful, and enviable. Cain had a very competitive spirit, despite the fact that what he had was based on his own lack of care to give his best or to do his best or present his best. So relating to narcissism, narcissists give their worst in relationships or any connection they have with other human beings. They portray a great image, devalue you, which is offering you their worst, but yet if you were to leave the relationship, move on, they become upset and envious. They don't want you to progress afterwards. They don't even want you to progress during the relationship, especially. They hoover you. They, they plot to hurt you. They plot to damage your reputation with the smear campaign. They plot to destroy you at the end of it all. And that's what Cain did to Abel. Was Cain humanity's first narcissist? Was Cain a golden child? Which in turn leads to the question, was Cain the father of all narcissists? Which then leads to the question, was Abel an empath? And thus the father of all empaths. Also, was Cain and Abel a story of the redemption of empaths or persons who give or givers? A lot of questions arise from this particular story, at least for me. I don't know if they do for you, if they do for you. And if you have other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. That's what I wanted to share today regarding that story. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with those who it may help. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye.